And away from the Ghana Nigerian music industry controversy, the New Year celebration right here in Lagos, Southwest Nigeria, included the second coming to the stage of the first bank supported musical, Mamma Mia. The international format gently adopted with Nigerian authors gave the Nigerian audience a dose of nostalgia mixed with romance as Nigerian actors reenacted the drama driven by the pop songs of Swedish band ABBA. And if we happen to be free, I bet he won't fancy me. That's too bad. Following a successful run back in 2019, classic jukebox musical Mamma Mia makes a return to the Nigerian stage for the holiday celebrations. The well-told story around love, romance, self-discovery and female independence, amongst other themes, ride on popular classics by the Swedish music group ABBA. Mama mia, here I go again. Mama, how can I resist ya? Mama mia, does it show again? Mama, just how much I miss ya? Because it's a licensed product, there's, and there's very little you can change in terms of dialogue and of course you can't change the music because it's of course about music, but yeah, being able to infuse, and there's a lot to use in Nigerian culture, um, so there was just like a big menu to pick from, and so why not, why not just pick all, the, all of that good stuff and just put it right in the soup. Dear beloved. We are gathered here today and welcome to Sophie's Dad. What? The musical, originally Sophie. written by Catherine Johnson in 1999, chronicles the story of a young bride looking to find her father, who could be one of three of her mother's friends. I invited him. What? You couldn't have. I don't even know which one of them it is. Oh, that's why they're all here. Mommy, I'm really, really, really sorry. Will you ever forgive me? I'm, I'm so sorry. Will you ever forgive me, Sophie? <sighs> Mommy, I don't care if you've slept with hundreds of men. <laughs> You're my mother, and I love you. Well, we live in Africa, and we know how women, where women are placed, you know, in the cater of importance in Africa. So I'm glad that this, um, that this, um, what they call this show, really, really talks to that, and. Um, it talks about family, it talks about friendships, so um, I'm glad that this show, that this show does that. It is gently adapted to Nigerian nuances as the story unfolds with music, dance and deft acting. What is happening? Why am I here, Sophie? What's going on? <laughs> you have to remember that not only is Mamma Mia drama, music, dance, but it's a party and for us. It's a lot of work. It's a huge production. It's very, very, very challenging. You've got to sing, dance, and act at the same time for two hours every day. It's incredibly grueling work, but it always feels like a party to us. The musical is sponsored by Nigerian financial giant First Bank. Bank supports the arts. We've always done so, um, and theatre is one of the areas we focus on. And the reason that we do that is because of the rich value chain of um, theatre, all the production, the lightning, the sound, the everything, everything involved in theatre empowers a lot of people. And therefore, we support that entire value chain from the beginning, you know, from the actors and uh, artists themselves to everybody who works on it. All I do is eat and sleep and sing. We should know. Executively produced by Iriti Bakari, the evening also celebrated veteran Nigerian Queen of Stage and acting Taiwo Ajay Lyset and Yemisi Ransom Kuti. I am honored to be on the stage with Mrs. Chief uh, Dame uh, Queen Taiwo. Ajayi Lyset. This woman is how many years old? Tell them. 80. I'm just going on about how, it's, how wonderful it is to start the new year with a production that's structured, that's professional, that's committed, that's joyous, that's so engaging. It's very good. It promises uh, fantastic things for theatre in Nigeria. And, and hope 
for sponsors to have faith in producers to do work like this. Sponsors are business people. They want to know what they're putting their money in. If, you, if they give money and you are not giving quality, but of, of course it's not going to give them confidence to back you. But if you're having shows like this, uh, then we will have more money and promote it and expose it to more and more people and enthuse, uh, make people enthuse about life. And, uh, and they can, we, we can show, it's not just entertaining. This is not just a, about entertaining, it's, a, it's information and it's education. Dance with your honey, if you think it's funny, does your father